Um, see, we feel um, KL obviously is is such a solid player, and you know, before injury, he had done well in all three formats, and um, it was unfortunate that he missed out, and then Manish got chances. Um, look. Uh, KL will definitely be playing in the middle order. Um, we're not going to be, uh, you know, predictable or have a set pattern anymore in terms of what we want to do in ODI and T20 cricket. Um, anyone could go anywhere. Um, that's that's what we, you know, um, are looking to do. But yeah, uh, someone like Manish, he's done well. He's grabbed his opportunity. He's got a hundred uh, in Australia as well. You know, we know about his talent, what he brings onto the field as well. Super fit guy, has a bright future ahead of him. So, um, he will certainly be backed. Um, see, all three guys will, will have to compete for two spots uh, in, the, in the middle order. You know, there's no guarantees for anyone, I would say. And, um, yeah, as long as there's healthy competition, everyone would, would keep pushing each other and it will only benefit Indian cricket. Um, I'm sure there is pressure on, um, you know, every player that plays, but more so on, on someone like Jinx when he goes um, to, to bat in the shorter formats. I think any format, if you're, if you're, you have any kind of, you know, desperation or urge to, uh, you know, cement your place or or perform, um, um, as to say, there's always going to be a bit of pressure on you. Uh, so what we try to do is, you know, tell players that just go out there and express yourself. You will be backed. Um, see, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a pecking order that you need to look at because Rohit and Shikhar. I mean, Shikhar was not in the mix of things, you know, till a few months back. But when he comes back, you see what he can do. So it, it becomes very difficult for you to understand, you know, what do you do in that situation? Because he came and he got golden bat in Champions Trophy. Then he's continued his form. He won you two test matches with the bat. So he's an impact player. We all know that. And Shikhar and Rohit, what they've done in the past together, uh, we understand their potential also. So Jinx understands that at, at this stage, he's... You know, the, the third opener in the team uh, will certainly back him there because he's been shifted uh, around a bit as well in the middle in the batting order, which is not healthy for a guy who likes to, uh, you know, open in shorter formats. But see, he's grabbed his opportunity in West Indies. He was the man of the series. So, um, you know, he continues to be in the setup. When you get a um, larger number of chances, that depends on players' form and, and all those sort of things. So you have to keep everything in mind. But I think he's... he's much more relaxed after that uh, West Indies series where, yes, he's felt the same before, but he overcame that and he wasn't feeling any pressure, he was enjoying his cricket. Uh, we were, see, for us it's it's time frame. Uh, uh, for us it's not about, you know, the opposition. Um, you can't you can't pick and choose. I've never believed in that. Uh, we as a team don't believe in that. Um, it's the time frame for us. It's, um, you know, two years to go, 24 months almost to go for uh, the, the World Cup. And now is the time that you know you need to give players time in certain roles to get into the groove and understand what we need to do, uh, you know, reaching that World Cup. Uh, so for us, it's all about you know when you want to start um, giving roles to players and and experiment as experimenting as a team. Sometimes we get so carried away with you know Team India's expectations and you have to win every game that we don't fall away from pattern. So it's very important to understand. For us as a group, see, criticism will come along the way. You know, if you try things, you lose. People will say, oh, it, it shouldn't have been done or things like that. But we should be ready to embrace challenges and ready to take risks, ready to lose a few games as well, you know, if we need to try out something. So us as a team are very comfortable with starting those things off, trying things uh, in very different ways. And, uh, you know, things will, will happen on its own. But we need to start making the effort now because eight to ten months down the line will be you know, uh, solid in our roles and what we need to do as a team. See, the core has always been good. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the core players, are, we have players who have the ability to strike at 200. We have the players who have the ability, same players have the ability to bat 35 overs for you in a one-day game. It all depends on, you know, what you decide to do as a team and then move forward in that direction. And everyone is ready to, uh, you know, take those challenges up. They're ready to embrace them. And that, I think, is the most exciting part. If we can, you know, embrace... Um, trying out a few difficult things and being uncomfortable, then it will help our cricket grow even further. If you see the way we're playing test cricket right now, it's we're almost getting 400 in a day, which we haven't done on many occasions, but everyone everyone's embracing playing positive cricket. So it's rubbing off on each other and we're getting more belief in ourselves that yes, we can do it. So it takes a bit of time, but um, you know, as long as people are willing to do it, it will make all the difference. But yes, definitely we believe in our core group. 
that is the only way you can reach you know finals of big tournaments and you know you can be consistent as a ODI side but if you want to be you know world beaters win everywhere in the world I think you need to do certain things that are out of the box as well so we are all ready to embrace that.